Hello everyone, welcome to Groovy Sauce, and today I'm playing Axis and Allies through the game Triple A, the free game Triple A, which is essentially just a recreation of Axis and Allies for free. And you can download this if you'd like to as well, just by Googling AAA and downloading it. But that's besides the fact because I'm going to be playing as the Allied Powers today versus the AI, but I'm going to be playing the Hard AI. So it's the Japanese, the Germans, and the Italians as Hard AI versus me, the Russians, the British, the Chinese, and the Americans. Okay, everybody? Let's kick it off, let's get it started, and start playing. So here we go, let me just make sure my sound's down a little bit before I go in there. I don't want to mess up the audio here because the audio is very, very specific uh, to where I need it to be. Uh, so yeah, let's kick it off. First thing first is Japan. Japan's turn is first. And of course, they're going after India's uh, navy, as they usually do. Japan is a powerhouse early in the game here. They just have a ton of units. And of course, you know, they destroyed that navy there in southern India. And now just moving on to Russia. Now with Russia, what I like to do production-wise isn't really uh, anything super interesting right off the bat, but the first thing I usually like to do is just buy a bunch of infantry because, you know, they don't really have enough funds in order to have some real teeth at the beginning of the game. Uh, but yeah, each, each person has their own different strategy. Uh, I just prefer to purchase nothing but infantry right off the bat whenever it comes to Russia. So that looks good in terms of my production. Let's go ahead and save the game, though. You never know. Sometimes I uh, I will click through and make it so that, like, the combat turn, and uh, I just click through the combat turn so it goes to the non-combat turn. So I'm trying to save as early and as often as possible here just to avoid any potential bad ramifications that could possibly come out of this. All right, so first things first, I'm going to try to get Finland... Uh, I like to be super aggressive with uh, Russia right off the bat because I just feel uh, like they need it. So I think uh, Belarus could possibly use the bomber. I don't know whether I'm going to send much else in there, but maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, we do need Eastern Ukraine. Not as much as we need actual Ukraine, which is worth two points instead of one point. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and send as much stuff as we can into Ukraine. That's a pretty hot button topic and issue at the moment. I know that, but, uh, in terms of the game, it's very, it's a high strategical value. And let's see here, which leaves us with Eastern Ukraine, which actually has the most stuff. So I'm thinking... That's probably, that looks good. I don't know. Eastern Ukraine could be problematic, though. Because I might have too much stuff going into actual Ukraine. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and and uh, make, there we go. This looks better. Even though you, this, this looks like it's, it's more strategically important, but I think we have enough going in there um i don't know i think that might be it but then again like i said um actually ukraine is more strategically important so I, i'm going to send that additional artillery unit into actual ukraine and that looks good in terms of my combat move um i'm just sending pretty much everything in western uh russia towards germany and uh Hopefully we get lucky with some of these rolls. We shall see. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, let me see. Just double check. Uh, yeah, that looks like pretty much all that we can do with the combat move. So we'll go ahead and do that. We knocked it so far. We took two of our guys. That's not a, a really super... Um, important spot though so even if we lose it's not 
too horrible. We still got our plane left. We didn't get the territory. It's only worth one, though, so... I'm not too bent up about it. Come on, get that one guy. We can't get that one guy. Are you serious? Oh, just one lone dude. Just taking us out. Rambo. The German Rambo. He's killing us all. Ah, we finally got it. Oh, they got us all. They they got it. They That is not good at all. I was expecting you to get Finland there. And so far, kind of not doing as well as I thought I was going to do right off the bat. But then again, Russia kind of is a little bit of a gamble at the beginning. We did win. Ukraine, good. Lost a bunch of stuff so far. And, uh, you know, I was not expecting it to go so horrible. Still uh, doing decent in eastern Ukraine. That's good. A lot better in eastern Ukraine than anywhere else. Um, okay, so now we're going towards, you know, our non-combat move. So just bringing everybody towards Russia. You know? And a lot of people like to, you know, bunch up with a bunch of dudes over here, but I don't know about that. I'm just going to send them all towards Russia here. Uh, if you are watching, I just want to remind you I can't see the chat. I have the chat up on one of my tablets so I can see that. And we're going to go ahead and put this boat, our U-boat, the Russian, one lone Russian U-boat, uh, uh, hanging out with his buddies in northern Britain. You know, giving them some vodka or whatever it is that Russians do when they're palling around with uh, British folks. <laughs> I have no idea. I doubt they do much nowadays, but back then, maybe so. Uh, okay, so that looks like pretty much all I can do. Well, I guess I could probably send one guy. No, I don't. I don't have any guys to send into Archangel, which is kind of sad, but... Um, that pretty much does it for my non-combat move. I guess we'll go ahead and end the turn. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and save. Like I said, you never know. It's always good to save. And that does it for the combat move. And I only can place two in Corellia, which is kind of sad, but... Here we go. All our dudes are placed. I think it's pretty much done now. Let's now I'm going to go ahead and and the turn and see how much damage Rush is going to do to me. Uh, I doubt it's going to be good. I couldn't get Finland. Let's just go ahead and see. Yep. As expected, they're coming at me pretty hard. And they're not losing much. Hopefully we can fend them off here in the seas. Come on, buddy. Get something. Oh, they're destroying my boats. That is not good at all. I didn't get anything. So, so far, luck is not on my side. It's fine. It's fine. We can do this. We still got this, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, they kind of destroyed all of my boats here, which is not good at all. Uh, and I can't get through there in order to attack Norway either, which is also very bad. Okay, let's see if we can't salvage this. So far, bad rolls right off the bat. Um, but what can Britain do here? Uh, what I like to do right off the bat is buy an industrial complex for India, so India can start stacking infantry there, uh, getting some tanks down there, and hopefully, you know, fending off the Japanese enough so that Russia can possibly, you know, stay in the fight. So I guess that's what I'm going to do here, since I don't know whether having a, a... Usually it's either a big navy or buying the industrial complex down here, and I think pretty much the one thing I need to do here is just buy that industrial complex. So here we go, one industrial complex, and who knows, let's get, we should get at least a couple of boats just to kind of beef up this navy, uh, because eventually it's going to come down to the, um, 
the point where I'm going to have to have a huge navy with Britain. It's it's pretty much a full uh, uh, something that really needs to happen with the UK is to have a humongous navy in order to kind of just beat on uh, Germany to to the point where they can actually uh, uh, fend off or help the Russians so they don't get wiped out. So that pretty much does it for the production. Let's see. Now comes the combat. I like to do a, lot, a couple of things out of turn, which I will do before I forget, um, which is kind of like taking some of the stuff because Britain's all over the point, all over the place. They're kind of like that world snake that's in, uh, Norwegian, I don't know whether it's Norwegian or like Viking folklore that encircles the globe because they're everywhere. Um, not necessarily the strongest faction, though, by any stretch of the imagination. But yeah, we are going to try to balance out some of this stuff here. I like to take this boat that's up here by Transjordan and Egypt and bring it down here just to kind of be like, hey, you Japanese ships, come chase this thing down, because then I, they're not up here around the Americans' boats. Okay, so what to do now? The first thing I think that you have to do in terms of combat is try to take out these boats here. If not, it's going to be a world of hurt, and nobody wants that. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and take some of these guys and place them in France as well, just to just to mess with Germany a little bit, just to troll them and uh, make them take some of their stuff and not point it towards Russia. Uh, but in terms of movement, I think that might be almost it. Um, let me just double check everything here. Yeah, and that kind of looks like it in terms of the movement that I want to do before I click the combat move button. So yeah, let's try it out and see how our boats do. Or here, ooh, how we destroy their boats, never mind. And that was exceptionally good. It did make up for our losses with Russia, or uh, them destroying all of our boats up here, but hey. Decent enough job. I have a feeling they're going to come at me next turn with all their uh, their planes and the remainder of their submarines. So uh, I'm kind of crossing my fingers uh, with that. But I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing about this game, too. It's, it's really reliant on dice rolls a lot. So And I think that the allied powers are actually a lot more difficult. So in terms of a non-combat move, I kind of did all the non-combat move stuff that I was going to do beforehand with moving the planes to India and stuff like that. So I think that's going to be it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. Place my industrial complex. And then also place my boats. So that's a decent navy, not necessarily a bigger a navy that could possibly uh, fend off any kind of attack from what they have now, but it's what I got, and hopefully it's going to come in handy here soon if they don't attack me. So that's going to do it for Britain. Next up are the Italians. Hey, Jeffrey, what is up? No problem, man. You're just witnessing me having a horrible first turn and Axis and Allies here as the Allies. Just horrible rolls. But I'm going to tough it out. We're going to see how we do. Okay, so it's America's turn. And I think we need to go at them pretty hard in terms of the boats with America. Because usually I like to just take a bunch of bombers and send them at them. But since Russia is doing pretty bad, I think we need to get in there immediately. So I'm just going to buy a bunch of boats. Well, as much stuff as I possibly can. That looks pretty good. 
Got myself, you know, your battleship, which is the most destructive boat that they have. And, uh, you know, some stuff in order to try to get into France or something like that. So now let's go ahead and move. Oh, yeah, Jeff, I'm going to be here pretty much for the next few hours, I assume. Uh, this game takes forever, so you could pop in and out of here a few times and, and possibly catch me. Uh, yeah, so here we go. <laughs> Let's see. The first thing I think we got to do, production looks good. But since we do start out with a bomber in the UK, we can always bomb Germany right off the bat, which is what I'm going to do. And then, of course, I'm going to send the bomber to the UK as well because it just comes in really handy. Just bombing Germany as much as humanly possible. It's the only way to keep them uh, from just absolutely destroying uh, Russia right off in the early game. Even in the late game, too. The bombers come in incredibly handy. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to move one of these boats down here towards the eastern U.S. And shoot, we got to move our infantry guys. Hang on, I don't know why. Bring them to the mainland so that they can defend the west coast. And there's not a lot that the uh, Americans can do right off the bat at the first turn pretty much just bomb Germany and regroup some of their Navy uh, so yeah let's go ahead and see how this bombing run is gonna be doing on Germany one dollar so that's it's good for me they didn't blow it out of the sky which I guess is the more important part but yeah that pretty much does it and I guess that will end my turn with America. Uh, before that, though, I'm going to go ahead and save. You never know. And now we can place. And pretty much everything's going here on the East Coast. Uh, because next turn, I'm just going straight for Africa. And hopefully that will scare them enough in order to put more units in Italy and France, hopefully. Because uh, I'm just trying to keep Russia alive at this point. That first round was terrible, so now I have to redo the strategy that I was hopefully, that I was hoping was going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, that looks like pretty good in terms of the placements. And now we go to China. And what can we do with China right off the bat? Well... We can attack this. We'd have to get incredibly lucky, though. Uh, which I guess I'll do, you know? Not much else you really can do with them immediately. So we'll try that. I missed. I'm gonna stay up. There we go. Oh, and they got me. They caught me. No. Still got my plane, though. And now we're just gonna regroup. Move some of these Chinese guys forward. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the Chinese. Yeah, China's a real tricky one, too, because if you can wake China back up with India or Russia, uh, it's just really problematic for Japan, seeing as now they have to come back and deal with this, this spawning, like, gremlins... I'm not saying the Chinese people are criminals. I'm just saying they spawn uh, in the sense that they just can continue to spawn without any industrial complex or anything. So they, it's just become a real nuisance in terms of gameplay. Hey, Mingle, what is going on? How you doing? You're witnessing me hopefully doing uh, a, f a full gameplay, a full playthrough here. Uh, the first round went really bad. I tried to... You'll see it here in a minute after J Jap Japan's turn, but Russia had a pretty bad first turn. Um, yeah, and I'm just now moving on to the Japanese turn, which is the AI. I'm playing as the Allies, obviously from the title, but uh, yeah, they're just 
annihilated pretty much everything. Like, perfect dice rolls with them right off the bat. Hopefully I can hold out. It's not looking good. Uh, allies I will give you is not my... Um, they're not my best um, faction. I'm definitely better with the axes in this game. Okay, so now what we need to do is figure out what we're going to do with Russia because last turn went really, really bad. I guess I could take Eastern Ukraine. That's a tank. That's worth something. Um, I don't think I have enough money or people, rather, in order to take regular Ukraine. Ukraine, which is worth two, and strategically it's the more important thing to take. But I think it might be possible. I have four infantry. I have two um, planes here that could possibly take them out. Uh, yeah, I think that's the way to go. Still, I think the best thing to do here is just buy infantry. I think it's pretty much... If I do anything else, it's going to be too much of a of a loss when the Germans eventually take it. So I'm going to have to maybe try to do some other units later on in the game. But as of now, it is just all, <laughs> all infantry. So of course I'm going to take Belarusia. It's unattended. Why not? Um, so now the question is, do I send in the five guys after this tank? And I think the answer to that is yes. Okay, and that looks like pretty much all that I can do in terms of a combat move. So let's go ahead and do that. That was a horrible roll. There we go, that's better. Okay, so we won. We won that. Got Ukraine. See how you... Oh, no. I missed every single one of them. Come on. There we go. Jeez. That was very bad. That first roll was very, very bad. So that was a little bit better. We actually did better with our rolls this time with Russia. So now comes their non-combat move. Japan is just on a roll up here but I need to get these infantry guys back towards mainland Russia the main area of Russia and that pretty much does it for Russia's turn uh, not a lot that I could do right off the bat here I mean they're very limited in terms of what they can do because of the amount of money that they make uh, but yeah that's it Nothing but infantry, guys. And that does it for Russia's turn. Ooh, good, good, Germany. Don't hit me. Come on, one infantry guy. Get, oh, no. Hey, see you later, Mingle. Thanks for showing up, man. Stop by anytime. So far, getting some decent rolls with Russia here defending itself, but still, you know. Hey, they didn't get Eastern Ukraine. That is beautiful. They're definitely going to get it with the Italians, but still held out fairly well. Ooh, okay. So now we have a little bit of breathing room with, with um, UK. Seeing as that they brought the majority of their planes more towards um, Russia. But I think that we need to take Norway. We're definitely going to have to go in there and fight their submarines in order to do that. But I think it's a necessary evil. You have to do it. And in order to get closer towards Russia, they have all their planes here. I think that we need a, uh, at least a battleship or a couple of other ships. And what can we do elsewhere? Well, I think that's it. I think that we just need to get some boats. 
And that's, you know, some more infantry, maybe a tank, for India. Okay, so one battleship for UK waters. And let's see, we'll do three infantry for India. And what do we have left over? 18 bucks. Well, you can never go wrong with adding another maybe destroyer down there because it's going to need to be defended. And you know what? Um, why not get like another couple of infantry guys? Because we're going to need to replace the infantry that we actually took from UK. But then again, I don't know whether we need to be so adamant about that. Um, because I think that it's more important to protect um, the boats that we have there from a possible attack from the skies. So we're just going to go ahead and add a couple of destroyers there. Okay, so now to our combat move. And like I said, we're going towards Ukraine. First off, though, I'm going to go ahead and save this game. Like I said, you never know. You never know. But the production looks good. Go ahead and load some infantry up on this boat. And you know what? We're going to be bringing in some planes, too, because we're not playing around. We're going to be trying to take out this, this U-boat. And with our bomber, why not bomb Germany? And I would attack, what is this, Guam over here? But they have all their planes there, and they're definitely going to die. So that's not going to happen. But I will bring these guys up to Anglo-Egypt, Sudan. And move this transport over here, because I don't want to bring it too far up, because he's got a bomber there, and he's definitely going to sink it. So in terms of overall movement, I think that pretty much sums it up here. I could possibly bring this dude up to Eastern Ukraine. That could have been done on my non-combat move, but I don't really care. I'm going to do it now. Um, yeah, that looks pretty much good. In ter Ooh, wait a second. I guess we got to move these guys over there beforehand. Uh, so yeah. I guess that sums it up in terms of the combat move. We're definitely attacking. Those up? Six damage. Ooh, yeah. Attack, attack that German industrial complex. Oh, yeah. And that, that, that submarine is gone. Good. And we have Norway. Beautiful. Now, next turn, hopefully, uh, we could... We could possibly take um, Karelia. It doesn't look like that's going to be possible, but even if not, we could take some more people, put them in Finland. So there's something that looks like it could possibly be very good next turn for UK. Who knows, though? I mean, they could get very lucky next turn with their rolls. And, of course, Japan's just murdering, so there's that. But overall, that looks like pretty much everything that I can do uh, with the UK. I gotta bring these guys back, though. My airplanes. Okay, so that pretty much does it. And... Shoot. I think next turn we're gonna have to fly these planes into Russia to help defend them, because um, that's one of my key moves... One of my signature moves is uh, using uh, fighters as defensive uh, units from from America and the UK in Russia. But that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and end our turn. But first, I just want to look over everything here, just making sure. And that looks like pretty much everything. So ending the turn. And that humongous navy, looking good. Looking good there in the UK waters. 
All right, so that does it for them. I think that's a big enough navy to, to um, fend off any would-be attackers. All right, so now America. And I don't know, I think the best thing to possibly do is just a gravy train of boats. You know, gravy train of boats, just bringing dudes in steadily, landing them in France. And uh, I think that's the strategy that I'm going to be sticking to here. Yeah. Let's get a tank or two in there. Right? And we'll buy a fighter just because... I think that uh, Rush is going to need a little bit of defense. We have three bucks left over. However, I really don't think that's uh, something that um, I'm going to harp over too much. We can always spend it next turn anyways. And that looks pretty good for our production. So I'm going to click Done. And we're going to go ahead and save the game again. Okay. Now, first things first. We have three bombers. We're definitely going to be bombing him with all three of those bombers. And then... Loading up all our infantry. Oh, wait a minute. I guess we can get some tanks in there. Before I get all crazy with it, And there we go. Morocco, Algeria is now American, baby. <laughs> yeah, I think the best thing to do now is just kind of gravy train it uh, with America. Here we go with the west coast of America. It doesn't look like they're going to attack us, maybe. They might go for Alaska, which is fine. You know, even if, if Japan decides to attack... Alaska. It's really not so much of a horrible thing because they're going to be distracted uh, and not attacking Russia, which is a real one thing I don't want them to do. So let's go ahead and move some of these boats over. And, I mean, there's not a ton that America can do from, you know, all the way out here by itself. We can move these fighters over here into Russia, though. Just move these over here so that next turn, they can come help out Russia. And you know what? That looks like it in terms of the combat move and pretty much... Yeah. Aaron Flo, hello! Just about to bomb Germany with my planes. Do nine damage. Very good. And no problem. This is actually not going so well for me. The first turn with Russia, it completely bombed in terms of, like, missing all of my rolls. So uh, it's not looking good, but I'm going to play it through anyways. I'm not a quitter, <laughs> you know. So I just I just feel like if if I quit early, there's the potential for a, a, a comeback victory. And I'd rather have that than quit early. So... You know, you might be witnessing a very, 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 uh, what do they call that? Just hard-nosed game, though, because it is not looking good for me right now. Because <laughs> I was missing so many of those rolls. But yeah, I'm in the middle of America's turn. This is a non-combat move. I think that I pretty much moved everything that I possibly could. Uh, I moved into, you know, Northern Africa here with Morocco and Algeria. And I'm going just with a gravy train of boats, just funneling in a bunch of infantry over here because um, I was going to go buy a bunch more bombers, bomb Germany, but they were just so adamant about getting into Russia, not missing hardly any of the rolls, that I feel like I had to change up my strategy. So um, that looks pretty much it for the non-combat move. 
Now I'm just going to be placing stuff. Like I said, just a gravy train of boats carrying dudes and uh, a defensive fighter or two that I can send towards Russia, you know, hanging out in Russia, defending that country a little bit because they are very much lacking in terms of manpower. Um, but yeah, that looks like pretty much my turn with America and we're going to go ahead and end the turn. China. So now we're with China. Let's see. Take that easily. Nice. And you know what? I'm going to go at them. There's four dudes there. No, that's probably a bad move. Uh, I do have the one plane. You know, uh, we can't go anywhere else. China's isolated to China, meaning that they can't move any other units outside of the natural borders of China. Uh, so it's going to be kind of a pain. Seeing as that infantry can defend better, they can attack, which means that my four guys, even if I do send in the uh, the plane, it could be very, very bad. Um, yeah, I do play some different games. I'm actually looking for some other games to play. Uh, I do want to play, um, what was it? There's like a Band of Brothers, not Band of Brothers, but... Um, Another type of strategy game that's kind of like Call of Duty, except it's World War II. I forget what it's called, but I'm probably going to be playing that at some point in the future. Company of Heroes. That's it. I want to play Company of Heroes here coming up pretty soon, and I actually want to play some Roller Coaster Tycoon coming up at some point. But I've just been in an, a, an Axis and Allies hole lately, and, you know having a blast and all that in all honesty um but yeah it's i understand that i've been kind of doing the same games over and over and over again but you know i don't know this is only my second time playing an axis and allies on stream though and that's gonna do it for the chinese move we can't really attack too many people right now without dying completely so you know there we go and china is done Moving on to Japan. Uh, if this game ends up being terrible today, like if I just get completely demolished here in a minute, uh, I probably will end this a little bit early and then end up playing Battlefront. Uh, and it looks like they're just murdering. Well, actually, I actually did really good here. Nice. So it, did we defend ourselves? They tried to attack Alaska and got destroyed. Very, very good. Yeah, there's a possibility of a second stream today. It's all dependent upon how bad this game goes. If I end up quitting early, I'm definitely playing some, some uh, Battlefront later. Okay, so Russia. Not doing really hot. They're coming at me hard in the north which is not good at all but they did lose over here in alaska and that's beautiful um now what do we do with russia yeah yeah i heard the queen died i mean she in, in you know she was an older lady it had to happen sometime you know i'm not gonna make any jokes about it just because uh i'm not i'm a non-confrontational type of dude <laughs> but yeah i don't know if it does if you are sensitive about that or whatever i feel sorry you know that you have uh sorry for your loss i guess uh but i don't know it, it had to happen sometime and in all honesty i think it's kind of cool that there's a there's finally a king there because there's been nothing but like a queen for it's like 70 years 70 years of just the queen you know, let's see, what can we buy with Russia? Hmm. I think we're still limited to just dudes. I would buy other stuff if I didn't think they were going to immediately destroy it. Because he's got us on the ropes. He's got us on the ropes. And, you know, we got to play on the ropes. Uh, we can't send everybody in there. That'd be bad. No. 
So I think three guys is enough there. We're playing for support, you know? And shoot, there, I think that's good. As far as combat move, I'd go into Ukraine if I didn't think I'd immediately die. Because uh, it's not looking good for, was it, uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know how to pronounce this territory, this specific territory. It's not looking good for them. Uh, whenever 9-11 happened, uh, Aaron, I was uh, actually... I had just moved out of my house. I was like 19 or 18 or 19. And, um, you know, just woke up that morning, you know, 19 years old. I think it was partying or something weird. And uh, I saw it on the news. We couldn't believe it all. We couldn't believe it happened. I went out on a drive with my buddy and just to see what was going on. And people were all at the gas stations, all crazied out. Uh, they thought it was, a start, it was the start of a huge war. I mean, it was kind of the start of a fairly big war. But people were freaking out. Everybody was at the gas station just, like, getting as much gas as humanly possible. And uh, just generally freaking out. No, I wasn't in New York. I did end up getting stationed in New York. But I was in... I'm in Missouri... So I was in, you know, the Kansas City area when it happened. And uh, after that, I ended up joining the military. Um, but yeah, I kind of got, everybody was really freaked out about that. Like whenever 9-11 happened. Because I had never been through anything like that. And uh, I don't think pretty much, you know, hardly anybody in America at that time had been through anything like that. Unless you count, um, you know, Pearl Harbor, but that happened so many years ago. Oh, well, thank you, Aaron. I actually enjoyed my time in the service. I wish we would have done more obstacle courses while I was in there, but I did two tours in Afghanistan and, you know, got to do a bunch of fun stuff that I wouldn't have done, been able to do otherwise. Uh, so, yeah, and, you know, a lot of people don't, you know, like the military, whatever, but without the military, I think that I would have been completely like just, uh, just unorganized, disorganized person. I mean, if anything, the military did teach me self-discipline, which is really good. All right. So non-combat move. That looks like it. It's not really a lot of stuff we can do with Russia. Okay, so that's Russia, and we are done. See, I bombed Germany last time, and they're going for it, man. They got so much stuff. They're going to destroy me. Yeah, I was a meteorologist, if you can believe that, in the army. Uh, hardly ever did my job. But when I did do my job, I freaked out a lot of Afghani, Afghani people simply because they didn't know what weather balloons were. Like, they were just completely overtaken by, like, what is this weather balloon? What are they? What are these people doing? Which was honestly uh, a lot of fun. I had a lot of times where I was doing um, combat patrols in Afghanistan in a Humvee which was a lot of fun. When I was out in the combat patrols, we would go into Afghan towns, eat footbread, which is kind of like a pizza crust, and uh, drink tea while talking to the locals uh, and seeing if they had any information for us in exchange for, like, wells and uh, health care and coats, beans, rice, etc. So, you know, I actually did a lot of fun stuff there despite having one of the most you know, non-combat type of roles that I was supposed to be doing. So, what does the UK need to buy? I know they need at least three people for India, but do we need people? To, can we have tanks down here? You know what? I think that we're going to just go straight up 
infantry down there with India because we can send all our infantry down there uh, into Burma. Hopefully get another industrial complex down there. And that would work out very well. So, um, yeah. Three infantry for India. And we will get one transport in order to help us bring some more people over. And then we'll get some... Shoot. What we... I think we might need another transport there. And there's not a lot here that I can do because I don't really have a lot of transports to bring anything over. I think I will be trying to take over at least Finland this turn if not the Baltic states probably, probably just Finland and I could just get a factory put it in Norway and that actually would work out very well and I think that I'm going to do that actually yeah and that's going to do it for me so now's our combat move with Britain Let's go ahead and save this game, though, just in case. Don't want anything bad happening. A lot of times I'll skip over a combat move and it'll completely ruin the, the game because I didn't save it, so got to make sure to save it. So the production looks good. Move over to Finland. Boom, that's ours. And while we're at it, you know... I would move them over here, but I do have another boat that I'm actually going to be... A couple more boats that I'm going to be placing next turn, so... Don't really want to bring them over here closer to these planes. But it does look fairly safe for me to bring this transport up. A couple of... So we'll do that. Actually, probably safer if I take them and put them over in these waters and now comes Burma I do want to kind of plug up this hole in Persia just to make sure that the, these German tanks don't make it through but what I will do is take over this territory And I think that pretty much does it in terms of combat. I mean, I could possibly take Libya. You know what? I think that I am. Boom. Libya. Mine. Hopefully. We shall see. <laughs> and shoot. Is that it? It looks like it. Okay. So there goes that guy in Burma. Bye bye. And Libby. Ooh, we're doing pretty good here in terms of combat. Yeah, they took all their boats. They went straight for Alaska. So. You know, hopefully we can get something started here in Burma. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Ooh, I forgot to bomb them. Aw, oh, shucks. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. I mean, you know. I'm only human. Can we bring over here these... Planes. We're going to need to defend Russia. They're going to be hurting here pretty soon. Um, and I think that pretty much does it. And we'll go ahead and end the turn. Oh, dang it. Forgot to move those guys. And now we can end the turn. So the three guys in India. Boom. 
industrial complex in Norway. Boom. We got our boats and one of our infantry guys right there. All right. Hey, what's up, Jeffrey? Sorry, I was, I'm on looking at the chat on my tablet. So if I didn't catch you immediately, sorry about that. What kind of workout are you doing? I guess he's gone. Never mind. I guess I'll ask him when he gets back. I just got done working out today, too. I was on my total gym. Did the power twister. I love my total gym. It's so good. So now, where are we at? Where are we at? Where, where, what was I doing? So we're placing. All right, so that's pretty much it for the British turn. Now America. It's America, baby. And they gotta defend Italy now, right? So, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because, well, let's go ahead and just take all our dudes and put them into France. At the very least, it's going to make him take some troops and bring them to the west instead of the east. And it's not like I wasn't going to do it anyway. So, let's go ahead and do, just prepare for that. And like I said, we got to do the gravy train in terms of uh, the boats and the, the guys. And he's threatening over here too. So we got, we, we might want to invest in another ship over there for the West Coast. And uh, why not take a couple more infantry there too, just in case. Because it's not like that Japan's not prepared to um to attack America. Okay, so here we go. The production looks good. And we're going to go ahead and start things off by bombing Germany. As you do. Hopefully that's a good bombing run. Sometimes I get lucky and I'll have like just stacks of bombers, like seven or eight, throughout the entire game without them taking anything. Hopefully that's the case here. Okay. And we're taking France. And I doubt they're going to last long there at all, but we have to take it. Because if not, uh, they're just going to annihilate Russia. We can't have that. Um, let's see, what else can we do over here? Um, move our planes over to Russia for defensive purposes. Hey, thanks for showing up, Aaron. Take it easy, man. And how am I going to defend this west coast here? We put one more guy to Alaska, I guess. And shoot. They didn't really come at me super hard with the boats, but, you know, it's, it'll be fine. And that looks like it's pretty much everything that I can do with America, so. Ooh, they got one of my planes, boo. Ooh, still did 12 damage there, that is beautiful. 12 damage on their industrial complex, that's a lot of guys. That's a lot of guys they're not going to be producing next turn. So, so far, so good. Okay, so in terms of non-combat move, um, I think that's pretty much it. I think I already did pretty much all my non-combat move during my combat move. Uh, so yeah, we're going to end the turn, place our troops... We'll put one battleship over there and the rest of the ships on the east coast uh, 
couple of guys over here on the west coast and a couple of guys on the east coast. Okay, and I think that pretty much does it for America's turn. And we're going to go ahead and be done. Oh yeah, we got China. Alright, so how are we going to deal with China? They took my plane. Those jerks. Still, China's alive, though. Usually, they get wiped out fairly quickly. But here, they're actually doing decent. Or halfway decent. And I think that's pretty much all that I'm going to do with them. So. And done. Now it's Japan's turn. And they're doing so much damage up top. I didn't think they would come at me so hard. Ooh, America, defend yourself, they, or Chinese, never mind, defend yourself. You can't let them roll over you. Man, Russia, it is looking bleak for Russia, jeez. All right, so we got to do something. Um, let's see here. Uh, we got enough guys to take out down here. In, was it Pokakis? I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but, um, yeah. I think we gotta just... Nothing but infantry. I don't know. This is the point where it's just like, we don't have enough, uh, points to place everything there. So I gotta make a decision on what I'm gonna be buying I think that's it. Six. You can buy six units. There's the six units. And we're going to go ahead and save it again. You know, got to save it. Man, Russia is doing very bad. <laughs> They're not having a good time, I can tell you that. All right, so... I don't know whether I want to risk all of my planes... I'm only gonna risk one. I mean, I guess we could risk two, but I'm only gonna risk the one bomber. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much all the combat that I can do. They took my plane. No. Oh, they're killing me. Dude, no. They're murdering. I gotta get out of there. No. That is so bad. That is so so bad. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Uh jeez. That pretty much sums it up for Russia. Holy cow, man. See these defeats, they hurt. It's <laughs> inside. I don't know whether I want to give up just totally, but it looks very bad for Russia right now. Uh all right. So All I can do, I guess, now is just stack infantry with Russia. Uh, it's not really much I can do beyond that, to be completely honest. And they are coming at me, man. They are just coming at me. Now, I expected that to happen with France, but... Man, Russia just got just totally destroyed. I'm going to hold out, though, until they take Russia. I'm not just going to quit immediately. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty sad. Okay, so I think from this point on, Britain just really needs to just um, create more um, infantry guys. So we're going to be doing that. Let's see if I can even purchase 14. I can. I can purchase 14 infantry guys. Uh, so... Where do we go from here? 
Well. We're definitely going to be attacking over here into Finland. And I could bomb or support over here in Finland and shoot. You know, at this point, uh, I think we just got to support. So we'll go ahead and support Finland. And it is looking really bleak, man, for... Uh, You know, I should have bought another industrial complex. That would have worked out possibly very well. Ooh, we can't be moving out. All those guys, they're definitely going to be coming at me. Um, Let's see here. Is that all that we can attack? It looks like all that we can attack. So we're going to go ahead and do the combat move. In Finland. Dude. God, they get, they're getting so lucky. How are they getting so lucky? It's ridiculous. Oh. Alright, so we did better over there in China with Britain. All right, so is that everything here? No, we can actually move in some stuff. And I'm going to do that. But in terms of the overall combat move, I think that's pretty much it. Just a ton of infantry now. Now the problem is just going to be able to get all of these guys into Germany and, you know, all the areas that I needed to attack with them. Okay, so that pretty much does it for the UK. Okay, so America. How are we going to go about doing this with America? Well, we have four guys down there. We definitely could just do the gravy train all day long, you know? But how is the West Coast doing? It looks like they backed off the West Coast. They know what's going on. And plus, they're doing so well over there with Russia and everything. It doesn't make sense to attack me. Um, what can I do to <laughs> possibly get them to attack me, though? I don't want them to attack me. Just get them off Russia. Yeah, I think we need to commit to... Um, to the one strategy that I was talking about earlier. And do I have any money left over? Two. And there we go. So that's pretty much all my money spent with America. Now we need to move on to the actual combat. Of course, I always like to start it off with the bombing run of Germany.
And I'm trying to get a couple of them. Boats down here into Morocco, Algeria, in order to pick up the four guys that I have down here in order to move them up. So. And you know what? I might back off this um, this bombing run. But I don't know. We have the planes here. We can back them up. So I think that's going to be a good option. And I think that's what's going to happen. This guy right here has me very, very cautious. Because I feel like he's definitely going to attack me at some point. And he's got a bunch of planes here, too, so there's always that as well. Um, I should have bought some extra boats. I have a feeling that he's going to attack my boats. Um, yeah, but in terms of overall combat, that looks like pretty much it. I wish I could just go at him with this West Coast boats. The moment I do, though, he's just going to annihilate me. Alright, so... There's the combat move. Let's go ahead and do it. Nice. Nobody died in France. Beautiful. And only five damage on this industrial complex, but it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. All right, so can I move anything here um yeah and that pretty much does it for america at the moment i doubt i'm going to be able to get to use the majority of um these guys on him but you know, Russia just looks so bleak. <laughs> it just does not look good for Russia at all. You have those horrible, horrible rolls. They're at the very top. And China. How am I going to work with China here? He's got all these planes just hanging out here. I'm tempted just to throw all my infantry at him and see if I can get a couple of these planes. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the sensible thing and attack this one lone infantry guy. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that. Boom. Gone. Get out of here. And now we're going to place all these guys there. Hopefully, we might have enough next turn. If he doesn't place a lot of stuff here to take this over in Manchuria. If if the Chinese can end up getting an industrial complex, that's ridiculous. I would love that. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what Japan's going to do to me. They are just destroying. <laughs> Man, this is bad. I can already see the writing on the wall. It is not good. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I wonder what Russia is going to do now. I don't... F Pointless. I'm going to hold out, though, until they can take me over. And uh, pretty much the only thing I can do is just buy infantry and stack them. Uh, because if I try to attack anybody, it's going to divide my forces and I'm definitely going to go down. Uh, so no combat move for me. Thank you very much. I'm just going to stat. I am just going to sit here and hopefully defend myself 
somewhat well. Uh, I don't think it's going to work out that way. Yeah, we went after my boats. I knew it. Yeah, it's going to destroy all those boats. Dang it, he didn't lose anything. Are you serious? He didn't lose one, one plane. Oh man, this is bad. Yeah, here's a loss. <laughs> oh dude, this is even more upsetting because it's online. For everyone to see. <laughs> Next time, whenever there's a rematch here, I'm going to do so much better. I guarantee that. Okay, so... Well, I think the best thing for Britain to do is just... Try to have some, you know... Go down with a fight. You know? And that's what we're going to do. Uh, we can get another industrial complex, maybe? But no, we don't need that. We, we need some boats. We just lost a bunch of boats. And the rest will be just infantry. There we go. So the first thing I want to do is definitely try to take over Finland. It looks like it's going to be in vain, though. Everything here is pretty much in vain. Seeing that, uh, you know, Russia's on its last legs. And I doubt they're going to need any backup there, so we're just going to bomb with our bomber into Germany. Hopefully take a couple of their bucks. Maybe maybe take another turn before Germany ends up murdering me next turn. I think they're definitely coming at me next turn, though. So, uh... Oh, jeez. What do we do now? I'm going to put one dude in Burma just to be like, hey... This is mine. I <laughs> guess we can attack here in Persia. But yeah, it looks pretty bleak. Okay, so there's the combat move. Yeah, take that. Five damage. <laughs> Which is pointless. They're definitely taking me next turn in Russia. Okay, so now we got our non-combat move. We can, you know, just bring our plane back. And what else can we do here? Oh man, I I know they're going to be just going right after my boats. You know. Oh no. <laughs> well, never mind. I was going to I did, I should have moved some of these boats over here so that I could place the boat closer, but that's besides the point. Um yeah, I think that's pretty much it in terms of the UK's turn. And let's place. If it wasn't for these bad rolls, I'm blaming, I'm blaming the bad rolls. I doubt, that, you know, I had a decent strategy going into there, but it's just the bad rolls just completely destroyed everything that I was trying to do. Um, you know. I mean, I'll play out the remainder of these, uh, these here, these, these rounds, but it just does not look good at all. <laughs> okay, so, well, I guess we can get some bombers. If I do last, at least I'll have a bunch of bombers. And we're getting at them. I'm going to pretend like, like... <laughs> Russia's not dying immediately next turn, which I think we all know is going to be happening. 
<laughs> and are they coming at me over here? I guess it doesn't matter, but no, they are not. Um, we can bomb them, which I will do. And I think that sums up the combat move for... Ooh, they got another plane. Oh, jeez. There's 10 damage on his industrial complex, but it's pretty much pointless at this point. Um, if I do... If Russia does last to next turn, I guess that... I mean, speaking of, we can bring a fighter from America over there. And maybe, just maybe, he can hold out for next turn and I can, you know, put all these dudes from France or from uh, Morocco, Algeria into France. But that's a very, very, very small chance that that is happening. Okay, so that pretty much does it for America. Let's place our bombers. And now China, which is getting attacked by Germany. Oh, no. <laughs> That's horrible. Okay. um, We're going to attack this guy over here. Why not? Yay. That's pretty much all I'm going to do with them. You know, not really a lot that we can do with them at this point. I mean... I probably could have placed a little bit better there, but I am, it's pretty much a, uh, drawn out, a full on conclusion that, uh, Axis is going to win this one. And Japan destroying again. Oh my goodness, dude. This is even worse, just seeing myself get just murdered live on stream. Very bad. Oh, and Japan took out a bunch of these. I didn't even see them creeping up on me. Should have been paying attention to that stuff. Yeah, this is pretty much it. I do want to see Russia get destroyed, but... Like, I don't want to see them get destroyed, obviously, but... You know, I'm going to hold out until they're destroyed. Which is probably going to be this next turn. And, yeah, that's pretty much the combat moves we'll place. And now it's the moment of truth. At this point, it doesn't even matter because Japan already took um, out all my boats. Oh, no, here it comes. And they didn't take it over? I thought for sure they would take it over. But they didn't. It doesn't even matter, though. They already took out everything. I guess I could possibly take out them with these uh, bombers, though. So there's that. All right, Brits. Time to do some miracle workings. And they're bombing me. That is bad. <laughs> So we definitely need some infantry units. Um, again, I, I definitely think we need to beef up the... Um, there we go. The Navy just a little bit, seeing as the Japan just destroyed um, all my Navy over there off the coast of France and Africa, which is crazy can't imagine a point in time where that would have actually happened in the war but hey <laughs> that's the beauty of this game so now what are we doing here what we got going on uh i guess we can just you know take all our infantry from here and drop them on off into finland you're going down finland <laughs> I got nine infantry that says you go down, partner. You, 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 you whippersnapper, you. Oh, man. <laughs> this is so bad, just having to trudge through this defeat. <laughs> He's got so many people. I can't believe he didn't try to take me that turn. 
Um, let's see. Is that all I can do here? I mean, I could try to take Burma. I'll put one in Persia, though. He's definitely going to try to take me out, though, in India. I don't know why he hasn't tried to do that already. I'm reviewing, re referring to the computer as he. Um, but shoot. I think that's pretty much all that I can do in terms of combat. Man, they got me good, dude. They got me so good. Oh, and he got my bomber! No! He's going so bad. <laughs> Are you kidding? Uh, okay. So we got Burma. It's going down next turn, but... It's the thought that counts. Yep, yeah, and I think that's all I can do. I don't have any planes anymore, so there's that. Okay, so. Placing some stuff. We'll put that tank here in, was it Norway? Everything here feels kind of pointless, to be completely honest. Uh, I'm gonna move those boats, man. Next turn, I'm attacking his ships. This is ridiculous. He's Japan is doing incredibly well. It's ridiculous. America! We have no more boats! Japan was like, we don't even need to fight you on the West Coast. We're gonna, watch, we're gonna fight you on the East Coast. That's ridiculous, man! <laughs> Why? Oh, I feel so bad. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm building an industrial complex in Alaska just to mess with this guy. You know... Maybe I shouldn't do that. That's probably a bad idea. Uh, but shoot, what am I going to do? Well, I, I got to buy, you know, at least something. In order to get back into the game. There's no way I'm possibly going to pull off a win here. But if it does happen, I'm going to do a backflip. I've never done a backflip in my life. But if, if, if I win, I'm doing a backflip. All right, we got to take out these boats. You can't be doing that to my Navy. Sneak up on my Navy from Southern Africa? Are you serious? Don't do that. So we're taking them out now. Can't have that be happening. No sorry, Bob. So let's do that. Get out of here. All right, we, we lost one plane, but he lost pretty much everything. Good. Good riddance. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, he's got a submarine there. That could be very problematic. I don't know whether I have the, the right kind of ship in order to defend myself against the submarine over there on the east coast. Um, It might be pointless though. Next turn, Germany's definitely taking Russia. Uh, so yeah, we're done here in terms of yep America's turn pointless <laughs> oh no oh uh, this feels I feel very sad humbled really by the computer and uh, you know I always get spanked by the computer whenever it comes to hard AI yet I insist on playing hard AI and again you know the the allied powers I think are the better it's the more it's it's got more a what how do I say this a, a better outcome more often than not like in terms of who's gonna win I think more often than not the Axis powers win in this game which didn't happen in history but for some reason for me in particular it seems like uh, the Axis have a better 
um, more, they just seem to be winning more, more so than anything else. And I can't even buy anything. They bombed me so much that I can't even buy anything. Yeah, they're definitely killing me this round. That's all there is to it. So here it goes. I'm going to chug the rest of this rock star. Adios, uh, Russia. See you later. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, thorough spanking by the computer. Here it is. Oh, no. How embarrassing, man. Come on, kill him. Oh, he's doing so well. Never mind. He's, he's definitely going to win. The computer, I mean. Yep, that's it. That's Russia. Done and done. And you know what? I'm not going to take it any further. That's it. The game is done. You know what? And uh, I, even though I did lose, you know, I'm going to take it on the chin. You know? And, uh, you know, even though I did lose, I love this game. Still. Despite the fact that I lost. And uh, I enjoy it every single time that I play it. And I'm definitely going to be playing the Allies again. Because I can't have this be the only... Um, you know, allied uh, loss or allied playthrough where the only one that I play is a loss. So uh, that's going to be happening in the future. Hopefully I don't get annihilated like uh, this one, that game. But uh, if you are watching, uh, thank you very much for watching. All of you who are watching, uh, love you all so much. Uh, yeah, and if you did enjoy the stream, make sure that you are subscribed as well as give it a like and all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, and with that being said, thank you all very much for watching yet again, and hopefully I will see you next time.